Hey, you're here with Mathman Wu. We're doing question 31 in this region. Okay, so the question is asking for how much uh, carpeting we needed to cover a room that, that's 12 feet by 12 feet. Okay, so we can do is you can draw a rectangular living room. This is uh, 12 feet by 12 feet. Okay, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can uh, multiply first and find out the area is 144 square feet. All right. And in order to get it to be converted into yards, you can divide it by 9 because 1 square yards equal to 9 square feet. Okay, so 9 to go into 144, that's approximately 16. And that's 16, therefore the answer is 16 square yards. Another way you can do it is actually do the conversion ahead of time. Right? What is 12 feet in terms of yards? Well, 12 feet, right? 3 feet to a yard, that's 4 yards by 4 yards. And then you can multiply the 4 and 4 and get the area 16 square yards. Right? And you get the same answer, 16 and 16. Okay, let's move on. Okay, 32. Okay, take a couple seconds, read the question. Uh, we have a triangle here, and we're looking for a missing angle. Therefore, we're going to use our favorite method, Sokotoa. Okay, and I'll write it here, Sokotoa. Okay, let's draw the triangle first. AB equals 20, AC equals 12, BC equals 16, measure angle C equals 90. Okay, this is a right triangle just because the question says a right triangle, so let's create one. Alright, one thing I know for sure, angle C, it's 90 degrees, so I'm putting a little marker over here. Okay, a and B, it doesn't specify where you put A and B, so you can actually put it anywhere you want. A on top or A on the side, doesn't matter. Okay, And then let's fill in the missing length. AB equals 20, that's 20, AC equals 12, and BC equals 16. Okay, now we have all the sides, and we're looking for angle A to the nearest degree. Alright, angle A is over here. Okay, there's a few ways you can do it. You can use sine, cosine, or tangent. Uh, you can pick one, it doesn't matter. Let's just pick sine here. The sine of angle A is equivalent to opposite over opposite hypotenuse. Therefore, opposite of A is 16. Hypotenuse is the longest side, 20. Sine of A is equal to 16 over 20. And because we're looking for the missing angle and not missing side, missing angle we have to use the inverse or sine to the negative one function on our graphing calculator. Okay. So let's whip that bad boy out. There you go. Let's clear this. So I'm press sine to negative one. Oh, there you go, you can see it. And 16 divided by 20. Right. Press the enter button and you get 0.92. Okay. And of course, 0.92 can't be the degree angle because it's too tiny. One thing I did forget, and you guys should remember for the regions, is click on mode in the calculator and change that radian into degrees. Okay. Right. Make sure radian is under degrees. And now quit. This way, now you press the same button, sine negative 1, 16 divided by 8, 20. You should get the answer, and it's 53 degrees. 5, 3. Okay. Angle A equals 53 degrees, approximately. And that is your answer. Okay. Likewise, you can also use cosine. Cosine of angle A is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. Your answer should be the same, right? Adjacent of A is 12 over hypotenuse 20. You plug it in, right? 
inverse function angle A should be 53 degrees and if you do tangent that's opposite over adjacent uh, which gives you 16 over 12 All right use a calculator angle A should still be 53 degrees okay three ways to do it choose anyone you like right but the trickiest part of this question is pretty much setting up the triangle All right, next question, 33. What do we have here? We have uh, looking to buy tickets, front row seats and back row seats. And looking for the probability question, looking for probability of getting um, available front row seats. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to read this over. You can also pause to read the question. To read the question. There we go. Okay, there's two concerts you can go to. John can go to the jazz concert and I'll put jazz over here or he can go to the right, orchestra concert okay all right let's find out he, he, he want to get front row seats here the probability of the jazz concert of him getting the front row seats right uh, that's four tickets out of a total of out of a total amount of tickets four plus thirty two So your probability is 4 out of 36, which reduces down to around 1 over 9, okay? Again, if you guys forgot about probability, the uh, the formula you want to sort of want to use is, is uh, number of desire outcomes divided by, okay? Uh, number of total outcomes okay. All right, in layman's terms is the number of items that you actually want to occur over the total possibilities okay. now on to the second part let's do orchestra okay for orchestra we have uh, three tickets available in the front row that's three tickets I want out of a total of how many tickets are available? 23 plus 3. That's 3 out of 26. Okay, and let's reduce that down. Alright, let's take out the calculator for that. Let's turn this guy on. 3 divided by 26. Okay, 0.115. Okay, approximately 0.115 and one ninth. If you want to get the exact decimal space, one divided by nine. All right, 0.111. Okay, very close. This is approximately 0.111. Okay, which one gives you better odds? The orchestra ticket gives you slightly better odds. Okay, there you go. Feel free to comment or ask questions below.